In tonight's Detroit 2020, we're tackling a controversial issue in education, year-round school. Already several schools in Michigan do hold classes year-round, but the big question, is it a better system for educating our children? So we're joined right now by Margaret Trimmer Hartley, the superintendent of Detroit's University Prep Science and Math which operates the only year-round schools in Wayne County. We looked at that school at 5 o'clock tonight. Thank you for letting us come in and take a look at it. Thank you. So I guess the question, the pros and the cons, let's start off with uh, the pros. What's a good thing about year-round schools? Well, I think the single most important thing and argument for it is that it delivers results. Results matter more than anything. And the summer learning loss that we see in too many of our children with that long, stretched-out, two-month-plus break is not worth it. We need kids to hit the ground running when they come back to school. We bring our kids in in late August, and they don't miss a beat. They'll have six weeks off in our system, and that's a sufficient break for most young people. You say learning loss. Uh, how much? You talk about what they learn in sixth grade, for instance. They go back in seventh grade, and they've forgotten some of it. Well, easily when students return in the fall, there's a month of catch-up that we have to do, if not more, um, because some kids don't have resources at home. They don't go to camps. They don't read. They don't do stimulating activities during the summer and so we're catching up um, and really filling the gap that occurred during those months when they just weren't learning. Now we were talking uh, during the piece at five o'clock uh, that we did that uh, that we're, we're competing against countries that are way ahead of us both in terms of how well the students do plus in and how long they go to school so I mean is it clearly a relationship that's obvious that the longer you go to school the better your scores are? Well, it depends what you do with that time. Mm -hmm. If you're just in school doing unstimulating activities, if there really aren't highly qualified, great teachers in front of you, you may not get the advantage. But if you're fully engaged and you have a quality curriculum and energetic teachers, we believe that more time matters. It matters greatly. The countries that are eating our children for lunch, as they like to say, are countries where they go to school 200, 220 days a year. Uh, and how many days on average do American kids go to school? Um, well, in Michigan, they're struggling to even get to the 180-day wow. mark. We have more than 180 days. We're closing in on 190 days. Our days are longer, at least a half hour longer than our surrounding districts. And so more time on task with quality programming. Okay, now the, the, uh, the cons, and I know, first of all, you ask any kid, and, and most kids are going to say, well, yeah, I have to give up my summer. So we'll, we'll skip past that since they don't have a say anyway. <laughs> what, uh, what really is important, you'll hear districts talk about the cost of running schools year-round. You've got busing year-round, you've got heating, you've got cooling or whatever. Well, we're fortunate that we unfortunately actually don't have busing yet. So we don't have the transportation in district. to deal with in our district. Mm -hmm. We're a charter district in Detroit, public school, um, but families commute to our school. And we have heating and cooling anyway in our buildings, and so we keep them deployed throughout the summer with summer school, whether it's by choice or like this by program. Uh, any other uh, ag against that you hear? Oh yes, it's a juggle for families with younger children who have to struggle with child care issues. And schools that are smart in doing this will provide a high quality child care provider on site. Um, and families like to vacation. They want to <laughs> be able to give children camp experiences and such. And so in some cases, we may have to be flexible. If our students are in school in late June and there's a fabulous high quality camp experience, we may have to excuse a few days. Okay, so I said the kids don't matter, but obviously they do. And so, uh, and, and we talked to some of your kids when we did our piece at five o'clock. And, you know, they, they did uh, say some had regrets about not having the summers off, but I think a lot of them understand that what they're giving up, they're getting back later. Well, it's a competitive advantage to walk out of your educational experience ready for college and no remediation necessary. And we believe with the added time and the balanced calendar that we have, they will be ready to roll when they hit the college campus and then better yet, when they hit the work world, which does work 12 months a year. John, I guess on balance, you're a big supporter of year-round schools. Um, certainly am. All right. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.